not seeing as of yet, and this is just the first day, so I'll couch that, um, a whole lot of discussion about linked open data. And I am curious as to why that is. What, what in your opinion, is uh, sort of what's needed to have that discussion? So I think that as you look at the maturing of any field, you'll see it go from the issues around, are we even going to be able to do this, to how are we going to do it in ways that are reusable and sustainable and really innovative. Um, and I think open data is very much just past our infancy, so think of us as toddlers perhaps. <laughs> um, and maybe we aren't going to be fully able to embrace all of the capabilities of linked data for a while yet, but you can see the beginnings of that. So I serve as the co-chair for the W3C e-government interest group. A big part of what our discussions are is on open data and linked data. There's an open linked data working group within the W3C as well that's promoting in governments those standards and capabilities to promote linked data. We have two new capabilities on data.gov. One is vocab.data.gov. Granted, it's small and a lot of it's focused around our health data, which is also where our linked data is coming up on data.gov. But Stephen Van Rokel, the USCIO, spoke this morning and talked about the transformation of data.gov and that here in the U.S. we are really moving from that sort of collection and aggregation of data to being a platform for innovation by having an API key registry and the ability to provide this open link to data in formats and capabilities and vocabularies and taxonomies that people are going to be able to use as we move forward. What, That's great. what does the linked data community, or let's just say the semantic uh, community or semantic web or technology community, need to create, produce, make available, or do in order to sort of bring these communities together? Well, clearly one of the big areas we have to work on is sort of the naming conventions and ontologies. And in fact, I think there's a financial panel today that uh, Chris Taggart and some of the other folks uh, have been talking about with naming conventions that can be worked across multiple languages and multiple countries. So we want to be able to understand when data is expressed in one place that it is a bit, we're able to dynamically link to it in another place because we understand the relationship between those names. Um, there's a lot of great work going on, but it's, um, it's in specific small areas, and we have not yet had sort of that aha moment that will bring all of those distributed ontologies together. So there are some things that we're doing to, to start looking at that. I mean, even small tools like Protege help us to start bringing those ontologies together. But I don't really think we have found the solution into that space. I think another area is understanding the issues around persistent URIs. So as governments are starting to put out some linked data, and the UK is a really great leader in this area, that the reorganizations within a government and the different kinds of agencies that change over time, how does that change the URIs that we create? And um, does over time, does it start to become confusing that maybe we have things organized a certain way because of the way the government was, but 20 years from now, that may be completely nonsensical. So somehow we have to understand that ontologies are not uh, sort of a static environment, but a very dynamic one. And the way in which we have to manage that linked data as we move in the future has to be completely organic and multilingual. And I think those are the challenge areas we have ahead of us.